Taurus, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a general weekly reading from, it's going to be valid from the 12th through the 18th. Um, and just keep in mind, I do, um, you know, give you a time frame. However, my readings are timeless. So whenever you find this reading, there can definitely be something in here that um, is meant for you. So just because I say it's this week or that week, you know, if you find it months ahead, um, you know, that's fine. Um, just, you know, there may be something in here for you. So I'm going to be doing a tea leaf card reading. Um, I got a lot of comments um, from the, my first time doing it a couple weeks back. I believe it was last month I did, and um, people really liked them. So I got a lot of positive feedback on these cards. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to use them maybe once a month or every other week or so. We'll see. But um, people like them, so I'm going to keep them. Um, I'm not going to explain the process since I've done that once before in my past readings. Um, so go check out um, the tea leaf card reading that I did for you a while back if you're interested. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and get started and we're going to be talking about success. Okay? Which is great. So that's your first card out and that is going to be the main focus of the, the tea leaf card reading. So also, um, I will be doing a, a tarot card reading that will coincide with this one um, after we're done here. So <clears throat> I ask you to stay um, to the end of the video so that you can ensure that you're getting all of the messages that pertain to you, okay? Uh, because the tarot and the tea leaf cards really do coincide with one another and um, lots of important messages come out all the way up until the end. So. Um, um, keep in mind that this is general, okay? It's, it may or may not resonate with you, so just take what you like and leave the rest behind, as usual. And I do um, have a playlist, so go and check that um, playlist out, because there's readings that I've done for you um, that also correlate with success, okay? Um, I've been doing your readings for some time now, and... Um, there's been a lot of, uh, of success for you that has definitely come out in your readings. So, all right, we got all of the cards on the table for this reading. Let's go ahead and begin. So, I'm not as I said, I'm not gonna explain how the reading works, I'm just gonna go through it, okay? So let's go ahead and start. We have in the first, or the next, two days, two weeks, or two months. We have the kangaroo, unsettled times, and you need to plan ahead, okay? Um, and we also have the vase, secret admirer. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we have some unsettled times that are coming up in the next two weeks, two weeks, or two, two next two days, two weeks, or two months, and you will need to plan ahead. So just keep that in mind that there might be something coming up that you will need to prepare for that you will need to possibly um, you know just be ready for because and it doesn't you know obviously the cards are not going to say what it is but it's going to depend on your life and what's going on with you just be prepared but with the vase here you have a secret admirer you have someone who is either watching you someone who really admires you someone who maybe even loves you so interesting energy for the next couple days, couple weeks, or couple months. Now we have this row here, which is the next three days, three weeks, or three months, and we start out with a parrot. Someone will gossip about all your secrets. Mm. Gossip is never good, right? So just, you know, if anything, you know, maybe you don't have secrets. <laughs> if someone knows something about you that possibly could come back and bite you in the butt, maybe it's in your best interest to bring that to the, to the forefront and maybe, you know, bring it out on your own so that someone else doesn't reveal those secrets about you. Uh, we have the handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. So there might be a meeting um, coming up in the next three days, three weeks, or three months where you are meeting someone who you've never met before. This could be possibly in a meeting with um, a business partnership or regarding a business partnership. 
maybe uh, a meeting that has to do with investments, um, anything like that. Um, so you're going to be meeting someone who you've never met before and it could be very important. And then we have in this row, we have the tower, solid foundation, success with effort. Interesting. So with the tower, in, in the tarot, towers can sometimes mean surprises, okay? Or sometimes, you know, they're not, all, towers are not always bad, just depends on what cards come out alongside it. Um, but with this card here, this isn't tarot, but the tower card really tells me that there's going to be something that comes in that, that brings in solid foundation and you're not really expecting it. So it's, it may be a surprise and it's going to be success with some effort put into it. So you may have to, you know, market yourself. You may have to go out and do sales. You may have to, and I'm talking about, you know, work here. Um, but in order to succeed, you're definitely going to have to put in some work to do that. Okay. And it could be related to this handshake where you may meet someone and talk about partnership and um, it may require you to get involved in some of the work related to this partnership. Okay. So I think that's great. It goes well with um, the main card of success here. And then in the next four days, four weeks or four months, we start out with the I psychic ability, trust your intuition. Yeah, so whatever's coming up for you regarding your success, regarding this um, possible meeting that you might be having, um, or even coming up, what you know, what this says, uh, need to plan ahead, whatever's coming up that you may need to plan ahead, trust your intuition as to how to deal with all of these situations and how to manage yourself in these situations, okay? If something doesn't feel right, you'll know it in your gut, okay? Don't move forward with that if you don't feel right about it. If you feel good about something, then it's a good sign that you should probably proceed. Okay? So trust your intuition. We have the scales. Keep your life in balance. So yeah, this is um, definitely a card. Um, this is, you know, I right away think of Libra because Libra is the scales. You could be dealing with a Libra. Um, but this is really saying that you need to bring your life into balance to keep your life in balance. Uh, love, work relationships, friendships, um, you know, whatever you're doing in your life, make sure you are balancing out your time, your energy, and your effort. Okay. We have the clouds, temporary problems. Well, you know, we all have temporary problems. This is not so bad because, you know, it just is, right? It is what it is. Um, we do have here the rat next to it, someone working against you behind your back. So that could be your temporary problem. Um, beware of people who are um, not on your side, okay? Someone who might not have your best interest at heart. It, there seems to be someone who might be trying to hinder your progress or hinder your success. Um, with the rat card, this is someone who's sneaky, someone who tries to get away with something. Um, and someone who is definitely working against you, okay? So be very careful, be diligent, and make sure that you are keeping your eyes open and especially just trusting your intuition here with this card, okay? So keep that in mind. We're going to go ahead and move into the tarot reading. Um, these are very important messages that will coincide with that. So let's go ahead and do that, okay? Um, all right, let's go ahead and start. I'm going to use the Psychic Tarot here, Psychic and Oracle deck, Psychic, sorry, Psychic Tarot and Oracle deck. I didn't know if I said that correctly. Um, all of the decks that I'm using can be found um, in the description box below if you're interested, okay? All right, this is a general reading. Again, check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Check my playlist. Make sure you are checking all of the videos on that playlist, watching all of those videos. There could be some messages in there for you, okay, Taurus? All right, we're going to be looking at the challenge this upcoming week. We're going to get advice from Spirit, and then we're going to get an outcome. Please don't forget all of the messages you heard in the uh, tea leaf reading, okay? They're going to be important. Okay, Spirit, what do you have for Taurus for this upcoming week? Right, firm foundation. What's your 
gratitude challenge. Okay, advice from spirit. We have heartache and loss, which is the three of <clears throat> three of swords. And then in the outcome, we have spiritual union with the two of cups and spiritual strength with the nine of wands. Interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and um, discuss first this firm foundation. This is the Four of Pentacles in the Rider Waite Smith deck. And this card talks about. Sometimes it can talk about hanging on too tight, um, but with this card here in this deck, I get a little bit of um, a different message with this card, okay? I'm getting that because this is in your challenge position. There is a little bit of a shaky foundation, okay? Um, because this is a challenge, you are attempting to attain a firm foundation and might be possibly challenged with uh, maybe difficult people, maybe difficult situations, maybe... Um, well, you know, I don't want to say just yet because it's too early in the reading, but it could be anything, right? Um, you're trying to get to the top of that mountain there, right? And with the uh, red base chakra colored triangle right there, that's really telling me that you might need to really Focus on the foundation of, of your being, okay? Your root chakra is what grounds you. So you might be feeling ungrounded right now, and you may need to really work on uh, on your grounding, okay? And focusing on your root chakra. Now, advice from spirit, this is heartache and loss here. This is the three of swords in the Rider Waite Smith. Um, there may be something coming up where um, you could be possibly... Um, experiencing loss or heartache. Now we did have that one card in the tea leaf which said where was it? Unsettled times and need to plan ahead. Okay, So something might be coming up that could be heartbreaking. Um, you may need to plan ahead. You may need to travel. You may need to you know, there may need to be se several things that come up that require you to plan ahead. And we'll, we'll see what this is about. And then in your outcome, we have two cards here. We have spiritual union, which is obviously what it is. There is a spiritual union here that will require spiritual strength. Okay. Um, this is the Nine of Wands in the Rider Waite Smith deck. And this is talking about um, feeling like the wounded warrior. You might be feeling wounded in a relationship. Okay, um, this could also have something to do with this heartache and loss if there has been a separation or that might there might be a separation. We'll look into this now. Um, I'm going to use the Light Sears Tarot to uh, clarify the reading today. Start with the challenge and see what spirit has for you, Taurus. Spirit, what is this four of pentacles or firm foundation here for Taurus in the challenge position? What is this? in the tea leaf card reading, which was someone who is uh, who does not have your best interest at heart. The Seven of Swords talks about deceit, envy, sneakiness. Okay. Could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, or even uh, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. This card of the Seven of, of Swords is the same card as 
I'll show you here. As this one. Okay, we just talked about that in the tea leaf card. Someone working against you or behind your back. Okay, that's what this is. And that's why it's a challenge um, that's coming in for you regarding your foundation, regarding your possibly your money, um, possibly uh, your stability in work. There is someone here who does not have your best interest at heart and might be working against you. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands here, which talks about an ending, um, moving out of something very difficult, something that you've gone through that has been a very big burden to you. Um, and something that has lasted a very long time that you're, you're finally um, getting through, finally coming to the completion. Tens are, are completion, okay? So you're coming to the end of this very difficult period of your life, um, and it could be possibly with this, um, this energy of the Seven of Swords. Again, you could have been dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius, um, but you have definitely taken the time to stand your ground you have stood your ground with this with this individual okay um, you said what you needed to say and you've done what you needed to do to move on from this situation okay as you can see there are people down here trying to poke and prod at this person who's just looking for peace who just wants to you know do her thing right she's trying to meditate but everyone down here is trying to poke and prod at her with those sticks you're not letting anybody um, hinder your success or um, your path forward, okay? And so again, like I said, you could be dealing with a, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio individual. This is the King of Cups. If that is not the case and you're, you know, maybe the, that sign does not, or either one of those signs does not resonate, this could just mean that you are grounding yourself more, uh, allowing yourself to, um, sorry, I'm getting a phone call, just a minute. Okay, Taurus, I'm sorry, I had to I had to decline that call and it stopped the video. So as we were saying, um, the King of Cups is someone who um, embraces their feelings, embraces their emotions, and is very uh, open open to expression, um, receiving and giving expression to uh, to people or others. So you've come a, you've come a long way. You're definitely still uh, you could still be dealing with um, this energy of people who just don't have your best interest at heart um, people who may be jealous of you or people who might want to bring you down for whatever reason or just people that are just um, irresponsible in their own you know their own way and they are getting in your way okay put it how it resonates for you <clears throat> now we do have this heartache and loss here I want to see what this is about spirit what is this advice okay so we have the lovers that's the card of Gemini you could be dealing with a Gemini we have the nine of wands the ace of swords The Two of Swords and the Chariot. Sorry, I had to get rid of that notification there. Okay. All right, so we have the Lover's card here. There could be a decision that you need to make regarding a union. Okay. We do have this spiritual union here in the outcome. So with the um, lover's card and the two of cups here, um, I'm going to say that this is um, regarding a union with this lover's card, okay? Again, you could be dealing with a Gemini. This is the card of Gemini. And you may be feeling defeated. There may be something here that you're feeling that um, you're, you're losing track Maybe you might have lost this person or you are possibly feeling that you may lose this person, okay? You could have put in a lot of time and effort or hard work into this relationship um, and you just are feeling very defeated. Now, we have the Ace of Swords here which talks about 
um, new communication or a new beginning in a new perspective towards a new beginning. But this is really talking about um, clarity. So something is coming through that will bring in clarity, um, a new beginning, new communication is required in order for um, you to no longer feel like you are blocked. Um, communication is going to allow you to take off the blindfold. Um, it's going to allow you to um, open up your heart. Okay, just like with the King of Cups, we talked about receiving and giving uh, love. Okay, in order to open up, you need to uh, make sure that you move in quickly because this might be something that um, is uh, time is of the essence, is what I'm feeling here. Time is of the essence. Okay. So you need to move in quickly and communicate effectively in order to um, allow whatever needs to come in to come in because right now you're blocked. You may be blocking yourself, okay? For whatever reason, I do see these uh, two birds here um, are really trying to bind her, but you know it's such a, a loose fit fitting um, blindfold she can easily and those you know whatever they're trying to bind her with it's not working because they're it's you know it's like twine she could easily just get out of that so you definitely might just need to um, really think about how you're going to maneuver out of this to, to gain clarity and um, really maybe find a solution before it's too late okay um, that's what, really what I'm fe feeling here because someone definitely is feeling heartbroken or has been heartbroken. Maybe both of you have been heartbroken in this relationship. Um, Spirit is really saying that communication is going to be the only way to uh, f get this blockage undone and moving forward um, to, you know, maybe what this is going to be talking about here, the spiritual union, right? It might require spiritual strength, okay? So I just want to point out that this card and this card are the same card, okay? Just different decks. So really, you know, the wounded warrior, someone feeling um, a little bit wounded from uh, whatever this, whatever is happening or whatever has happened in this relationship, it's requiring you to have some strength in this union, okay? Let's go ahead and clarify what, what else comes out here with this, um, these two cards and this is the outcome here. We got the Emperor. Two of Cups. We got the Two of Cups in the same row, different decks. Okay, that's a very, very powerful message that this union is, um, might be in shambles, okay, uh, because of the previous messages that I see here. So, let's see what else we get. like um, someone is going to need to take the lead in this relationship because it looks like someone here is either bored or discontent or blocking love okay I don't know if this is you or your person but this is this is the Emperor card this is the card that talks this is the energy um, that talks about taking the lead okay uh, this is the Emperor card, so depending, I mean, there is no gender in tarot, so put it how it resonates for you. If you're a man, it's the Emperor. If you're a woman, it could be the Empress, okay? But this is, nonetheless, someone who takes the lead, okay? Someone who is put in, you know, a, a position that um, is the one who initiates, okay? This is a card of Aries, so fire signs initiate okay fire is you know it's kind of like uh, when you when you put a spark to to a, to you know wood 
<clears throat> it's going to ignite and it's going to just, you know, it's going to flame, right? And you're going to get your heat that you want. So this is just taking initiative, really taking the lead in this relationship. Okay. So you may need some spiritual strength and you may be feeling a little defeated right now. Maybe um, you have, maybe the, this is a possibility that you have tried to put in the work in this relationship and there is someone here who just isn't interested. Okay. Maybe someone who's bored, discontent, like I said, someone who just isn't open to love right now and not accepting your offers of love. But it looks like there has been someone who has been waiting or both of you. There could be this waiting period that, you know, the seeds have been planted and there's a long waiting period from, from um, when you plant the seed to harvest, right? It's that waiting period where you're waiting to see what's going to come up of these beautiful seeds that you've planted, right? And it looks like you're still waiting or this person, your person is still waiting. So um, the Page of Wands talks about a new start um, to something that may be coming out of this waiting period. There may be a new um, gesture of, of, you know, passion, or um, maybe this is required for you in order to move into the direction that you need to move into. Some sort of new beginning, some sort of, of new passionate um, Oh, what am I trying to say? Um, you know, maybe moving into into a new um, a new way of doing things, okay? Because this waiting period is obviously making someone feel bored, discontent, maybe you know, looking elsewhere, okay? So, as you can see, there is this bowl here with this beautiful light just beaming out of it, and this person just doesn't see it or doesn't care to. So it's that energy of just, uh, uh, whatever, you know, so either this is saying that it's going to take spiritual strength in order for you to take the lead in this relationship or vice versa. Okay. This could mean also your partner may need to be the one to take the lead, uh, put it how it resonates for you, but someone here needs to take the initiative. Okay. Someone here, it needs to, uh, express this emperor energy and take initiative on um, in this relationship because there's been some heartbreak here. Um, the three of, of uh, swords, which is heartache and loss in this deck, is obviously talking about someone who has been heart, heartbroken, um, someone who may need clarity on some things that will bring in new insight. Okay, could be you, could, your par could be your partner but someone's blocked here. There is definitely someone because of this heartache, this is this person's blocked and they're not allowing themselves to see or feel anything. That's why they're in this energy here. Okay. Again, put it how it resonates for you. Um, I'm going to get some clarification because I do feel that this, since this is, has turned out to be a love reading, um, I do feel though, outside of the union here, there is someone also who in career or in work might be hindering you, um, moving, maneuvering into success maybe, or maybe this could be a past person who may have tried to hinder you um, in your success. Uh, with the tea leaf card, you did get the success card. And so I'm just, with the rat as well. Um, it's really correlating here with the seven of swords. So you may be overcoming something that is leading you into a more stable direction, standing your ground, utilizing and taking initiative on the things that you want to accomplish regarding success. And, um, it looks like you are trying to manage your emotions. I'm going to clarify, um, this, because I know I already clarified here that someone, someone is definitely blocked and, um, re requiring clarity in order to become unblocked and something is going to move quickly here, but I want to get a little bit more on this, um, three of swords with this lovers. 
Um, let me ask Spirit real quick here, see what this is about. Spirit, please clarify the Three of Swords here with the lovers. What is this about? More clarification on this, please. Okay, Three of Pentacles, uh, collaboration, partnership, obviously. Okay. The Three of Swords, again, clarifying with the Three of Swords, heartache. Okay, one more, please. We've got 333 three, three out here on the table. Okay. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. So, okay, so it's just repeating itself here. I guess the, you know, the message is just what it is. Um, we get the same messages, same messages that we're getting out here. Okay. Um, so really, this is just saying that um, in this partnership, there has been heartache. And this could be, you know, this is this card here says scarcity mindset so there could be possibly someone who may have because I you know I'm saying that this seven of swords here could be someone who has who does not have your best interest at heart this could possibly be someone who may have tried to intervene in your relationship okay um, someone who may have tried to hinder your relationship and it could have been in uh, a work scenario or business deal of some kind because I do have the four of pentacles out here this um, heartache could have occurred due to money due to uh, business partnerships due to uh, because I do have the three of pentacles out here this can sometimes talk about business partnerships okay this heartache could have come out of something that um, was very burdensome um, to both of you regarding um, this love affair, this um, relationship, this union. And it could possibly be that someone in the workplace or someone in this particular partnership regarding money of some sort, that's what I'm getting, that um, it came out of that. This heartache definitely came out of that scenario, okay? But now with due to whatever happened in that scenario, someone is having a hard time coming back from whatever happened, okay? Someone is having a hard time seeing um, the possibility of maybe renewal. And there's just this waiting period. This could be possible um, coming back after, you know, a separation and really trying to grow um, something again right plant those seeds again and try to work from a different angle maybe try to get a better crop and I'm just using that as you know metaphorically right uh, trying to get more of a, a stable union um, after some separation due to a heartache um, I do feel here and I'm going to clarify because there is this page of wands that came out here at the end of the reading and this can talk about a new beginning a new passionate beginning so let's see what this is about before we close the reading okay spirit please clarify this page of wands the eight of wands okay communication an energy energy surge due to um, strong communication quick communication and it is next to the chariot so quick communication may be coming in the three of cups we have a celebration And then we have the Ten of Wands. Okay, so it looks like you guys have gone through a lot here. With the Eight of Cups talking about, I'm sorry, the Eight of Wands talking about qu uh, quick communication, an energy surge um, that will come out of this communication, and a celebration here with the Three of Cups, Ten of Wands, meaning that it's over. All of the heartache, all of the, the hard hardships and the difficult times that you you two have gone through is going to be over and there's going to be a new passionate beginning that re, you know brings in a resurgence of passion so it looks like it's just there's been a long waiting period and it's going to take some time um, but the outcome is really going to be that your your, your new beginning is going to to start again. Um, it's been a very, very rough road between you and your partner. 
um, this definitely looks like it's been um, a long road. I'm going to go ahead and get, because um, we have a little, little bit more time here, we're only at 17 minutes here. So I'm going to go ahead and get a Lover's Oracle for you and see what advice Spirit has for you. Yes, we have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Yes, I really feel that this relationship has gone through a lot, as I said, and you are healing. This heartache that was due to possible money issues, possibly a separation due to money. That's what I see here. Um, but it looks like, um, it says here, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Oh yeah. So there is someone here um, that really loves you, Taurus. And I'm sure you feel the same way about this individual as well. So just know that healing is on its way. Um, there's definitely um, some new passionate beginning that will be um, coming in to rejuvenate, resurge. I just want to say resurgence because of this. It says that here on the card, energy surge. It will be providing an, ener an energy surge to your relationship to this union. And there is definitely going to be some spiritual strength that is required in order for this healing to take place. Okay, um, so that's great news. Uh, just keep in mind that there, you know, there was possibly some people who, uh, who probably prayed for your downfall. Maybe somebody who really didn't um, have your best interest, or um, maybe someone that could have been jealous of what you had. Right? There are people out there that want what other people have. Um, so. That seems to be in the past. That seems to be that um, it could have had something to do with um, the separation. It had. It could have had something to do with the heartache. But I definitely know that this um, this union is going to move into a new direction. Something that is going to be healing, and something that is um, the burdens from the past are going to be healed. Okay. So this was your reading, Taurus. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I post new videos. Okay? All right. Until next time, I love you guys and namaste.